Hi, welcome to another video review for SimonsVideo.com. My name is Simon Tay, and today I'm very excited to uh, review this uh, very very interesting game called Infinity Blade 2 by Chair Entertainment Group. Okay, basically this game is the sequel of the Infinity Blade 1 uh, where it uses the same Unreal Engine and the same type of gameplay but it does uh, add a little bit more uh, dynamic graphics animation and features in this uh, second installment okay basically uh, when you're playing the game be just take note uh, when you're transitioning to a new scene uh, try to pick up these uh, treasures along the way like uh, full health or bags of gold um, and sometimes uh, you know, stop a while and enjoy the graphics uh, light you can actually check out the sky if you uh, if you like uh, it's actually pretty pretty realistic you can see uh, the the cloud actually uh, moving slightly across the sky just like a real cloud will and you can sometimes even catch a birds uh, flying around uh, okay check out the stats uh, you can see what you have in your inventory uh, your statistics what you have and of course you can actually buy new items uh, there's a new uh, all style new combat instead of using a single sword and a shield you can also use a double hand uh, and a uh, you know double handed weapons instead um, there is also a new option for you to slot in gems uh, where you pick along the way uh, there's a very easy to use options to compare the uh, statistic of individual items between the one that you have equipped and purchased and here I'm uh, demonstrating how to drag and drop uh, gems into the slots of uh, equipments, uh, weapons and armors uh, just take note that different gem slots uh, shapes will uh, accept the same type of shape of the gems itself so don't put the wrong shapes into the slots okay now comes to the actual combat the combat system is very simple uh, just choose the enemy that is coming towards you and uh, there's certain challenge that is appear on the bottom for this is you have I have to do 10 parries uh, in order to get the experience bonuses uh, the left and right arrows is for dodging and uh, just take note of the raising of the weapons uh, and, and dodge accordingly to the opposite direction uh, and of course certain uh, attacks cannot be dodged you have to block or parry and uh, you have to look for signs of uh, where the, the attack will be and simply dodge it if you dodge more than 3 or 4 times you usually have the, the break and during the break you can actually attack back uh, the enemy will get exhausted also if you uh, parry or dodge for a long period of time and they get very tired and you can also attack them when they have a uh, exhausted break <laughs> uh, you can choose to use uh, magic on the top right where it's fully charged uh, to uh, the, the type of rings that you uh, equip the different type of uh, magic you can actually use and on the left side is the charging for the special uh, weapon attack where you can actually force a break so that you can actually attack them okay now I have a full magic charge I can actually utilize it uh, using the top right and use a, a gesture and actually heal myself using the magic okay basically what's the pros and cons of this game definitely the graphics are very good the user interface is very good the HDMI output is very good the only downside it is a bit repetitive and uh, you know uh, the another good thing is uh, it's a universal app where you can actually use uh, one purchase for all your iOS devices which is very cool um, I will highly recommend this game for the gamers but not the non-gamers uh, because this is for the hardcore people who want to keep on playing and playing and playing <laughs> uh, basically that's it for this review thank you very much for watching Simon's video have a nice day see ya bye bye to support for this podcast please visit simonvideo.com for more podcasts and application reviews thank you very much